It was Jurgen Klopp's first Wembley triumph. Perfect. There's no other word for it. Felt amazing. I didn't feel a difference to the Champions League final. It was actually as big as that. Absolutely great. It's just electric. Like you hear the, you hear the sound out around, around there. Like you got people behind there dancing and everything. It just goes the way of life. Like we love Liverpool. Not since Kenny Dalglish in 2012 had the English game's most decorated club won a domestic cup competition. Far too long by Shankly standards. Was it time to win a trophy? Yes. Was it overdue? Don't think so. Last year, it's a, it was not a year to win a trophy, no chance, because we had not the players, we didn't have a defence and all these kind of things. So, no, it was not overdue, but it's, um, it was, um, I would say, in time. There's no way anybody imitating can be great. If you want to do it, you've got to be yourself. Klopp is now Liverpool's longest serving manager since Bob Paisley, with two years left on his contract. And the new manager of Liverpool, Jürgen Klopp. So the German off. arrived in 2015, oozing the very confidence his new club lacked. Good fit, two words. <laughs> it's a real important um, thing that, um, that the player feels the difference from now on to help LFC. You have to change from doubter to believer. I think both sides um, knew uh, that there's a good chance that it will work out. The way I am, the way the club is, um, is <laughs> yeah, suitable. What do you make of this from Bill Shankly? Liverpool Football Club exists to win trophies. <laughs> Never met this man, obviously love him to bits, but Easy to say. <laughs> it's hard to stay at clubs now for a long time to build a dynasty. Do you see yourself going beyond 2024? I don't know. I really don't know. Our owners understood that uh, things will take time. We need the time, obviously. They are in interested in development as well, not just in delivering immediately. And that's pretty helpful. Today's Anfield reflects the global aspiration of a club competing for the very best players. Klopp has a win rate of more than 60%, better than any of his predecessors. But not the consistent glory some would say defines a dynasty. In nine years as manager, Paisley won 20 trophies. Klopp could win four this season. Uh, there's a lovely quote from Bob Paisley. He said, I've been here during the bad times too. One year we came second. <laughs> These guys, thank you very much. Come on, yeah, they have all right to say that. They have all the right to say these things. Um, I, I, the, the big shadow of my life is that I never met them. What about a quadruple? Did anybody ever win a quadruple? No. There's always a first time. The quadruple's on. It sets us up for everything. We got one down, three more to go. It's possible for us to beat anybody in England and possibly anybody in the world. We've got fantastic players here. I mean, they should win something every season. Beyond returning the league title, Klopp's biggest achievement is restoring a sense of the formidable self-belief that permeated Anfield for decades. No Liverpool manager has won Premier League, European Cup, League Cup and FA Cup. For Jürgen, it's three down, one to go. The city, I'm really happy. I had a, we had a wonderful night uh, uh, in London. We smelled it again. It's really cool. We want to have that more often. We are a good football team, we know that, and um, we have to use that. And that's what we try to do. And the next time we try to do this tomorrow night. I like the way he didn't shy away from the quadruple because I know it's extremely hard because we've talked about it with Manchester City the last couple of seasons. But, you know, it is a possibility. And if you're coming here tonight as a Liverpool fan or watching at home, you're thinking, while it remains a possibility, it's a perfectly valid conversation. Of course it is. And I think that when you get to this stage of the season, one of those teams, you've got a team with the, the, the resources of a Man City, the players they've got, you've got a team like Liverpool and the way that they've, the way that they've been in the market has been magnificent and they win a trophy at this stage. When you look at everything what Liverpool are doing, you remember last season they were playing with Fabinho and Henderson in January at the centre half. Now they've got them all back. You've got their forwards firing. They've got signings who are, who are doing the business. You have to say that if there's a team that could probably try and go and do it with what they need. And now one of the biggest things for Liverpool, they've got the fans here. 
And you'd have to fancy them against anybody here once they got their fans in here. So if Liverpool can do it, you need so much things to go right for you to do a quadruple. But if you're going to say a team could do it, I, I would probably say that Liverpool could probably do that. People uh, remember, I, you did the treble, of course. So it's those players who come in who aren't the household names who do as much as anybody to oh, get you there, oh, do 100%. They? It'll be the so-called maybe fringe players who maybe only play 10% of the games. They're the ones who come in and get you over the line in certain games. Like we saw at the weekend with young Quivin Keller coming in, yeah. doing a brilliant job, keeping a clean sheet. So these players are going to be vital. You need a lot of luck, obviously. Yes. And, and I can tell... You can obviously tell when managers get frustrated, like Klopp, when people talk about, can you win two or three trophies? We all know the next game is your toughest game. It's a dangerous conversation for obviously players to be having. I never had it, but it's okay for us, the media, yeah. and supporters to have it because it's a bit of fun to it, I suppose. You both won the League Cup, so what's it like when you win a trophy? Because it's the only trophy you can win mid season. Yeah. What does it do for your momentum, your confidence for the next two and a half, three months? Well, like it was the first trophy I won at, at, um, at Arsenal, and obviously going there to win trophies, you get that feel. It was nice, we had a great time. We went on the same season, obviously, we won the FA Cup. You know, then we went on when we won the Cup Winners' Cup. So you, you, you get that feel of winning something. It's, it still means, like you heard what Jurgen Klopp said, he said he had the same feeling as when he won the Champions League. You know, because winning is, is winning. And winning they, something is they, winning. They do look all in it together. I know it's yeah. easy when you win a trophy, but it does look like the squad, the fringe players, obviously the manager, the staff, you saw how much they enjoyed it yeah. on Sunday. And they've certainly got that momentum in the group. But of course in football it can change quickly. Very. But certainly they must have a great... There must be a great buzzer on the training ground. Obviously, at the stadium, we see there's a new stand getting built here. You know, there's a lot going on, man. Oh, there's a lot going on, but it's all, all pluses for Liverpool. But as we know, it can change quickly. As Gabriel said in that piece, were he to win the FA Cup, he'd be the only Liverpool manager to win it all. I mean, Bob Plaisley won masses, but yeah. somehow didn't win the FA Cup amidst all that. So there is, there is something, even with greats like Shankly and Paisley yeah. and Kenny Dalglish who've been here, still something for Jurgen Klopp to do that nobody else has ever done. And like... If, if, he, if he could do that, it'd be amazing, simply because, like he said in that interview, him, Liverpool, everything was a great fit.